Before watching the video, make sure to check out the description. You'll find a link there to register on the Bybit exchange. Bybit is my top choice for trading. It's the number one exchange in terms of trading volume liquidity and it offers the lowest commission fees. You could save hundreds of dollars monthly just from this alone. That's why I recommend signing up using my referral link in the description. By using it, you'll get a cash bonus for registering ranging from $10 to $30,000, depending on the size of your deposit. Most of my referrals get $100. Even if you don't have any deposit, you'll still receive at least $10. For big-time traders with substantial deposits, you could get up to $30,000. However, for larger amounts, you'll need to reach certain trading volumes volume thresholds. On this page, click here to estimate the bonus you'll receive for registering. The link is below. Enjoy the video. Many of my viewers are people who don't directly... He's into active trading, but also actively invests in crypto or makes periodic transactions. Folks, this video will be especially useful for you if you're that kind of person, most likely. There's only one important statistic, one crucial number in your portfolio, and that's the number of bitcoins you own. You've been buying at 70,000 rubles, a million rubles, and now it's worth several million rubles. You keep buying more, you watch it, you're excited about the account balance that you had one Bitcoin, then it became 1.1 Bitcoin and this number keeps growing month after month, year after year, and you understand that you're buying into a deflationary asset. Even if its price has dipped at the moment, the currency it's typically traded against, well, not exactly denominated, but rather, yes, the currency it's usually traded in, in this case the dollar, is an inflationary currency. So you might just need to wait a few years, and it could, in any case, the price will recover at a minimum, it will most likely increase. If we are talking about the price in rubles, then there's no point in discussing that. It's obvious that the ruble is a currency with very high inflation. Bitcoin will rise in rubles. With these seven steps, as I said, you probably care about the number of bitcoins on your account. I might not be telling you anything new if I say this, but I personally know people who were somewhat surprised when I told them about it. In fact, you can, for example, have a single Bitcoin account, not just to purchase Bitcoin, but to transfer it to a certain time to Ethereum, for example, if Ethereum will grow against Bitcoin. For example, in a week it will be 10% more expensive, you can convert Ethereum back to Bitcoin, you now have not one Bitcoin, but 1.1 Bitcoins in your account. However, if Ethereum grows tenfold in Bitcoin, you will will not have one Bitcoin, but 10, and so you specifically have these currency pairs, cryptocurrency pairs against Bitcoin, Ethereum to Bitcoin, ADA to Bitcoin, they are mostly traded on the spot market, by the way, there are also futures for them, but you'll most likely be interested in spot trading. You're probably thinking, if you knew about this, you likely have just one question, how can you use this, how to conduct any analysis here? Let's say I bought some DOT, yeah, and I'd have fewer Bitcoins if I held on to it, so that means there's no need to buy it. In fact, the same principles of technical analysis and finding entry points work here as they do on standard cryptocurrency pairs like Bitcoin to dollar, Ethereum to dollar and so on. And there's one unique, common, not so much an indicator but a chart that you can... The only way to analyze this is to immediately see whether it's profitable for you to keep your money in Bitcoin right now or to transfer it to Ethereum, for example, or any other alternative coin. This graph is on your screen right now. I'll open the train view like this so you can see how it's written and open it yourself. Essentially, this is the total divided by BTC, which is the market cap of all cryptocurrencies divided by Bitcoin's market cap. How is it expressed? What does it mean? You see, the value in this case is 1.81, which means that the entire market cap of all cryptocurrencies is 80% larger than Bitcoin's market cap. Bitcoin's market cap is included in this. Yes, so the value here will never be less than 1, but on top of that, there's an additional 0.81, which is like a percentage of Bitcoin's market cap cap that belongs to altcoins. There have been times when this value reached, for example, a mark of 2.5 in this case, which means that relative to Bitcoin's market cap, all other altcoins still had Market cap, in other words, means that if Bitcoin's price is stable while an altcoin is rising, its market cap relative to Bitcoin's market cap increases. This chart will go up if Bitcoin is falling while the altcoin remains steady. Similarly, the altcoin's market cap relative to Bitcoin's will increase and this chart will rise. So, roughly speaking, if you have one Bitcoin and you've invested it in an altcoin and this chart 
chart is rising, it means the value of your investment in terms of Bitcoin is increasing. Conversely, if this chart is falling, then it's decreasing. Essentially, by analyzing just this one single chart, you can determine when it's advantageous to hold your money in Bitcoin and when it's beneficial to move it elsewhere. Where to move it is another question. Whether to choose a less liquid altcoin or stick with top coins will likely depend on your risk profile. You'll have to make that choice yourself, but I recommend going with top coins if you're you're moving your bitcoins around, but we're talking about finding the right entry point at this moment. As a long-term trader or investor, it might be profitable for an investor to exchange their bitcoins for altcoins or even if I'm not a long-term investor, but I'm looking for an entry point. How do I understand if it's more beneficial for me to, for example, go long on Bitcoin now, if I'm expecting growth? Well, this is quite a relevant question at the moment. Will Bitcoin soon go to new highs, or should I choose a few altcoins instead and open long positions on them? This chart might also answer that question, and what we see here from a technical perspective, looking at the chart from 2020. In 2022, there was a strong correction, a powerful downtrend here, and it's slowing down, forming a bottom with characteristic accumulation. It's almost gone sideways now, which means as soon as this chart breaks above its moving average, but hasn't yet broken through some key resistance levels, then let's say it grows a bit. At this point, we can characterize it as a sideways movement in an accumulation phase after a decline. We've seen an active downtrend, then rounding, and now accumulation. This is very clear from a classical technical analysis perspective. It's simply an accumulation before a further rise. When and if after this accumulation, the price, in this case looking at this chart, goes above certain key levels, which I've marked here at 1.91, it will enter this green zone. At that moment, it will most likely be extremely profitable to buy Alta. Let's look at how this chart has moved historically and draw some parallels. We can use the same moving averages and trends to determine which trend and which phase we're in. Essentially, even if you follow a simple rule, keep your money in Altus, in this case when the trend is upward, when the price breaks above the moving averages from below, it's above the moving averages, meaning that on average for a certain period, the price is at a higher level than it was on average for a number of past periods. Yes, that is, when it's above the moving averages, you'll be amazed and shocked that even such a simple basic strategy will already give you a boost, it will already give you an advantage in case you hit the all season. This kind of movement happens and the number of your bitcoins multiplies several times. Imagine that. Let's say you've accumulated not just one but 50 bitcoins and suddenly they become 150 in two, three months. You've been saving them for the last seven years, for example. That's amazing. Now this value, 1.91 is the nearest level, 1.92. 1.95 is the buying zone, if the price doesn't stall now. And if it breaks through the bottom, then the next level where the price will be interesting, well, as it goes down, yes, so our nearest level is 1.78. If we fall below it, consolidate, and there's a sideways movement with a further breakout, then as soon as the breakout from the level occurs, 1.78, here's where we'll need to buy. Similarly, if the price goes even lower, that is, if it forms a lower level, stays there, and then suddenly drops even lower, we'll buy at that new level. If it overcomes this barrier, I hope I've explained it clearly, and this is a fairly simple strategy. But a question arises. Let's say tomorrow the price overcomes this barrier, the alt season is about to begin. So, which coins should we pay attention to? And why did I suddenly decide to record such a video? Are there any signs of a trend change on this chart for the beginning of the alt season? In fact, there are more signs than it seems at first glance. To understand this, we need to look at Ethereum against Bitcoin. I briefly commented on this in my previous video, so let me go through. In this video, we'll discuss a large number of altcoins relative to Bitcoin. Even if you're not a long-term investor, and even if you don't usually consider opening long positions on Bitcoin or other altcoins, you'll find entry points according to your strategy. The moment when altcoins are stronger than Bitcoin indicates that the market is extremely bullish, that it has switched to risk-on mode and is ready to rise. If not continuously, then strongly and sharply, 
you can make a lot of money on long positions during these periods. I think most of you watching this video have earned the majority of your crypto trading profits during such times. These periods can be predicted, so let's look at how this might play out. As for Ethereum, there's nothing particularly remarkable here. The coin is quite strong and hasn't corrected against Bitcoin. Along with the alt season, it will also grow, but the potential for massive gains is unlikely. However, if it reaches its maximum, it will recover. That's already about 50%, but imagine you currently have 10 bitcoins, it'll become 15, which isn't bad at all. And that's if it doesn't drop even lower. If it does go lower and provides an entry point, you could consider buying more, potentially increasing your percentage gain even further. Looking at this chart, we can identify this level here. The levels with many zeros after the decimal point, I won't read those out loud. Feel free to pause and check them yourself. In this case, it's 0.06, meaning the price is moving above this zone. It's a good entry point for a long position, and the logic here is similar to what we've discussed before. Also, if after a period of flat movement and accumulation we suddenly drop to a lower level, a new support level is formed. We'll consider buying above this new level. I hope I'm explaining this clearly. The logic here is quite simple. Let's move on. Now, the coin I'm looking at isn't ranked by market cap, but it's one that's been beaten down quite a bit. Nevertheless, this is one of the coins that's close to its historical bottom against Bitcoin. And note, as I briefly mentioned in the last video, I'll mention again what's happening now. There's a complete outflow of money, but interestingly, the shift from altcoins to Bitcoin isn't unique or signaling the death of altcoins. It's just a cyclical process that we've seen before. Look at the pattern. From the peak, from the all-time high, after a parabolic rise and vertical takeoff, there's an almost vertical drop. Then comes a period of complete oblivion, occasionally interrupted by some spikes and rises. It's exactly the same situation here. Look. After that, we see accumulation, the beginning of an altcoin season, the first signs of life, yes. Then and there might be a correction. Well, a correction may or may not happen. That's already another question. Catching a 200% gain would be great. But what I want to say is that this isn't a complete bust. This happens periodically, like after a crypto winter, followed by a new season. That's 100%. Yeah. Now that's already a crazy value. And it's unlikely you'll be able to catch it or turn your 10 bitcoins into 100. I'm not even talking about dollars. That would be an enormous amount. Nevertheless, catching something like this is possible and it will happen. The question is when. But in this case, yes, let's take a closer look at this coin. The local downtrend has been broken, and some kind of strength is emerging from a lower level. There's a jump here, but nothing supernatural. We don't see any super entry points. It'll be clearly visible if there's a long accumulation period here. You can also see the levels I've marked here. Feel free to pause and take a look. Theoretically, you could buy when these levels break upwards. I hope we'll see movement like this, but based on this chart, it's impossible to predict. There's nothing extraordinary here. The only thing is that there's a bottom, which might get updated. Of course, the coin is quite low at the moment. If you're a passive investor, theoretically, you might be ready to buy a certain amount of Bitcoin at a given price point. Let's say if the price goes lower, you're prepared to buy more. It's like an analogy with past market behavior. You buy here, you buy there, you keep buying at different points. Then, after a significant price increase, you sell everything, potentially doubling your assets. This strategy is theoretically viable, though I'm not advocating for it. Personally, I prefer a strategy of finding the right entry point. However, the bottom here seems obvious, and from the perspective of, you can use this strategy right now, but it's clear that it's not guaranteed to be the best entry point. There's no definitive information about that. For Bitcoin Cash, for example, it's already looking much better after the decline to the support line. This is all on a logarithmic chart, by the way. If I switch to a regular chart, it would look like this. Yeah? But we always use the logarithmic chart when analyzing, and in general, it's better to look at the logarithmic trend line for all markets. A breakout of this trend line, consolidation at the bottom, and then moving into a sideways trend is just perfect for accumulation. Volume indicators often don't work well in these situations. It often doesn't work well on these charts, but you can still pay attention to them one way or another. Some spikes will also be significant, but of course not as much as when we're trading against the dollar. This is just an excellent accumulation for Bitcoin Cash and a good entry point. Here's the first level. We've already had a couple of false breakouts, and there might be more. There could be another false breakout, but it's clear that the more breakouts there are, the higher the probability that the next one will be genuine. Everything above this zone is an excellent entry point for this kind of movement. It will happen, not necessarily this year, but there are already the first signs of accumulation which wasn't there before, wasn't there six months ago, wasn't there a year ago. The accumulation season is closer than you think. BNB is hyped, nothing interesting there. Dash. Here in comparison with Bitcoin Cash, there's no accumulation of course, but the bottom here is just historic from that perspective. 
Let's talk about averaging strategies. You buy here, then you buy lower, and then even lower. You can take a closer look at some key levels as well. It's not that it's impossible to identify levels here. It seems possible, but it's quite challenging because the coin doesn't really bounce off any specific levels. It's not bouncing, it's just falling vertically. However, we can look at some local movements here. Here's a mark, for example. Pause the video and zoom in on the screen to see it better. This is a local level. It's useful when you're considering buying coins like this one. But there are no clear horizontal levels for this coin. Look at the moving averages instead. In this case, the moving averages can act as levels. Also, look at how it just works. See, the coin seems to be standing still, approaching the 50-day moving average, and then they start selling. It approaches the 50-day moving average again, sells off, retests once more, sells off, attempts to break out, has a false breakout, and there you have it. The 100th moving average is approaching, they're starting to sell off from it. Again at 50, they're selling off again. It's an attempt to break upwards. Once more, they're selling from the hundreds. You can see how the moving averages are working in this case, similar to levels from this perspective. Look locally at what's happening. They broke past 50, consolidated, and they're still selling off from the hundreds. But there's compression. That is, if we consider the MOV average as a compression level, it's a trend breakout. Breaking past a local level once, two compressions to the next there further on is already the 200, which is like a global level that wasn't even approached once during this decline. Also, from the perspective of the moving average as a level, we can even see some accumulation here. A dot, a wedge, breaking out of the wedge. Moreover, they sold off return to the bottom. I think that this decline won't likely lead to a new low. And in general, it's most likely that altcoins won't hit bottom. It's possible, but I think we're somewhere very close to the best entry point. The entry point that can only be found, here's the classic example too, yes, as an instance of what happens after a pullback, and there's a clear level here, right here, after which you can confidently buy if you want to be extra cautious multiple times, but only after breaking out of the moving average, that is, in this situation, if it happens, it's still a bit early, you need to break out of the moving average and consolidate, roughly like this, if you want to trade locally, quickly right away, then here's the level. The IOTA trend, we're overcoming it right here. It's not exactly accumulation, but something like a sideways pattern is forming. This happens periodically, but after a significant vertical decline, it's just a pause before the next impulse in the trend. There's no vertical decline like that here. And what decline there was, it was quickly brought up, which is already positive, relative to, let's say, this moment is already good. All these descending triangles that can be found here, remember that a triangle is a pattern that trades well in reversal. That is, if we had an uptrend and then a descending triangle formed, this is a great pattern to trade. If a descending triangle formed as if to continue the trend, then this is a bad pattern. You shouldn't trade on it. I won't stop at every coin. I'll only comment on what looks super. For instance, link is already accumulating. There are no volumes, unfortunately, but there is accumulation. We have not yet left the trend. If we get out of the trend, if we go above this zone, we have already tried once, yes, but it didn't work. From the second time, I think it will work. And if you want to be on the safe side, then here is the next level after which you can definitely take long. Litecoin, as for Dash, is also a vertical decline, just take buy. If it goes a little lower, buy more, somewhere close to the historical bottom, somewhere close to the best entry points, perhaps for all time, for the entire history, for the next 50 years. Perhaps such prices as we have now will never be seen again. Neo, well, there is a level, yes, which, if it gets taken, will be seen. Clear that this is the bottom, also a vertical decline. It's just excellent, grab it and buy. It's never been this cheap before. OMSG, oh, pay attention, it's a beauty. Not only that, but the volumes too. Unlike other coins, pay attention, OMSG, oh, the volumes are impressive. This is probably the best coin to buy for 2024. MSG, you'll remember XLM Stellar. If there was no life in the market, there wouldn't be any rebounds or rises. But here we can observe a trend breakout at this very moment, with ascending lows and a breakdown as well. Well, it's true we've dipped below 100 again, but if we manage to climb higher and break through these local highs right here, that would be a very bullish signal. XRP is in a similar situation, but it's holding up really well after pullbacks. Look, here's a pullback, followed by another upward move, then another pullback. It's holding steady for now. We're also likely to see a golden cross soon, and it's trading above a key level. For those looking to hedge their bets, here's another level to watch. Above that, 
that, we've got an excellent entry point. Zcash is looking ideal right now. It's a coin that's currently trading above key levels and moving averages, and it's broken out of its downtrend. We're seeing good volume too. If anyone's looking to enter position right now, here's the level to watch. Of course, you could aim for the next level up, but generally this looks like consolidation and a retest. This is the first coin on my list that's presenting a clear entry point right now. Tron is a different story altogether, I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. Solana is also its own case. Interestingly, it's showing a pattern similar to what altcoin has been showing for a while now. It's a bit different, of course, and the trend looks slightly different here, but by the end of 2023, it it came out. Here it is, the downtrend. Here is the way out of it. Look at what happened after 223%. Your 10 bitcoins turn into not 20, but even 30. That's three times more. What a beautiful bottom pattern. An upside head, shoulders, neckline, stepping beyond the neckline, even moving. They even went beyond 200. They couldn't resit. However, if locally we've surpassed the high, this would indicate strength. Here's the entry point. If you're scared now, this is just an excellent bottom pattern. By the way, if there's a local cross, then it's also a cup with a hand and the potential is a cup with a handle. By the way, such patterns work very well here. Here's at least 63% out of nowhere, I think we'll stop here. The situation here isn't good, although some accumulation can also be spotted. For instance, Nier long ago broke its downtrend. Here are all the coins now. We already have coins that have shown in the current market how this exit from the downtrend can go. Furthermore, there was no alt season. There were no tens of thousands of percent gains. No, there was nothing. It's all calm and quiet. Your 10 bitcoins are turning into 20. Waves has hit the bottom, there is volume, but certainly no level breakthrough. This is something like Owen MG, which is also a great coin to enter right now. Trelay looks bad. There is, of course, some sideways movement, but it probably looks like a precedent for a breakout. It's the only one, by the way, of those coins that I just mentioned to you, which has a sideways pattern that looks bearish. We'll end here. If I see an especially juicy entry point, I'll let you know. I've already given you a few. Of course, it's unlikely that I'll see something better, but if something suddenly forms, I will promptly notify you on Telegram about it. So don't forget to subscribe to the Telegram channel. Double, double the number of your Bitcoins. Good luck.